All right, so before I actually get into it, I have a few more things from Ikea that I want to show you guys. So I got this kind of like plain white. It has a little bit of a ruffle in it. It's just a duvet cover. And then this guy here was $7.99. And, oh, of course it's upside down. Basically, it's a duvet, but it is really thin, still fluffy, but it is called the cooler, I guess. And it's basically like you put this on your bed and it feels like you're being covered. Because I can't sleep without covers. I am so weird. I hate sheets but I need like some sort of duvet or comforter. And this is actually a really cool one so you don't overheat. And then I got a colander for like $2 because mine currently has really big holes in it. Like it's the style of it, but all my pasta falls through. And then I got a, what do you call this? It's not a pot cozy. It's like a hot thing. You put hot pots on it, but it's purple. It's kind of coming up black. And I thought that would look cute on the stove. And then for 10 whole dollars, I got a 20 piece gift, gift wear set silverware set because I lose all the baby forks and spoons. I don't know where they go. Anyways, into the main area. And I have a broom there because, you know, try to clean up for you guys. As Soon as you walk in, I have my back to my fridge right now. My door is over to my right and the rest of my kitchen is over to my left. So that's like the start of my, oh, where is it? That's like the start of my kitchen, like island. That's the only place I have to eat. And I need two bar stools, which will be the next trip. The kitchen is next or maybe the bedroom. I haven't quite decided, but and yeah, so main living room area, that is my cat pork chop, being cute and pregnant. And then, yeah, the rest of the TV area. And in the back, you can see that is where I normally sit and film. There's usually a clear chair over there too, but it is in my bedroom because I don't have a nightstand yet. You know, multitasking. And I'm hoping to eventually, that's got like a cat post over there right now, but I'm hoping to eventually have my desk and everything and get some sort of like tall closet thing to keep all my lights in when I'm not using them. Because I don't mind having the string lights up on the wall over there, but just to be able to use the space more often. And in the back is my beautiful window that I love. Like this place is huge and kind of looks really industrial. Like that's my big heating furnace vents and stuff. I don't know, just awkwardly long and big. So it's kind of hard to break up the space. So I'm glad I have an L couch. And let's get into this area a little closer and not step on my cat and hurt her. All right, so a little bit of zoom in of the couch. I got that couch from Leon's, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Leon's in London. And then the coffee table I bought yesterday, it was like $69 and it's actually a nesting table so I can take this little one off or move it in and out however I want. And I thought that was kind of cool but I like it being like together like that. I was going to get a square one but my couch is a little longer and I feel like a square one would look kind of funny. And then I just have my iPod down there, the controllers and I have a couple books. And then those candles I bought, like the group of them, there was one extra one but we dropped them last night and I couldn't save the other one. So that is there. And the books I have right now are Project to Happiness and then I have like an at home natural beauty book and I really like it and I've been making a lot of the things. So if you guys wanna see some recipes or like me trying them out, yeah, let me know and I can happily do that for you guys. There's some really cool hair masks in there and I've been using those. And then I just have my iPad. And then on the couch there, that blanket was from Ikea but I got it like a year or two ago and I didn't see it this trip that I went but it is a really, really comfy knit rug, knit rug, knit blanket, and I definitely am in it all the time. And so just back here is gonna be where I eventually put the rest of my desk and things, and I'm going to go over to the window, because this is one of the favorite things I bought. But first on this side, oh, where? You can't read it, but it's um, a candle called Dockside Lemonade, and it is by Cottage Life. It smells fantastic. It's like a bright yellow and kind of smells like a lemonade creamsicle. Like not the orange, but like if there was a lemonade creamsicle, it would be that. And then you can see out my building and there's a train bridge right outside. So I'm gonna back up just a little bit. And so this little guy, oh, where we go, focus. So this little guy, like the little thing itself was only $29 and it's like a little greenhouse. I was considering making it a terrarium and like putting soil and actual live plants in there, but the way they had it set up was with these three fake plants and then the little like bins they come in and I'm not sure how much the plants were. The bins were like, I think a dollar each or something like that. So I got those just to make it cute for now and I'm scared to kill plants. I really am, but we will see. I just wanted some height in there. I didn't want to just have little low succulents. So we'll see if I can find some like a nice arrangement and I can maybe build that with you guys, like film it and show you what I put in it. If you would like that, please let me know because I think I am going to do it. I'd really like to have live plants because I can use the fake ones in my bathroom or whatever, places that don't get light. And then just over to the wall. Oh, we gotta zoom that way. I don't know if I can go back further. 
So right now, generally there's a chair like right in the middle. I'll pull my camera and my lights out, turn the back wall lights on just to have something in the background, and that's where I film generally. The past couple videos I think are about two weeks old now, which is sad. I need to get on my filming, my filming game. Yeah, we will get, we will get there. And then just over to the side here, is, this is my favorite spot. I love it. I, if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you probably should fix that because we need to be BFFs and you guys need to be able to see all the weird things I post, right? That's like a normal friendship. And so, coffee table or TV stand, I guess. From Ikea, the little flower here is from Walmart. It's an actual live orchid. I went with one live plant. It only needs to be watered like once every 21, 28 days or something like that. So I was like, you know what? I could probably manage that. TV my grandpa got me, and then the little silver light right here is actually from Ikea. Can't remember the price of it, I bought it a while ago. And then if you watch my dollar, dollar store haul, those little candy jars and candies are from there. The fish tank my boyfriend bought me from some place in Barrie, like a special fish aquarium, I can't think of what it's called. But I have a whole bunch of guppies in there, and they keep having babies, and it's adorable. And then these guys up here, I actually sell them at Ikea again. I, I forgot to check the price though. They come in a set of three and they're just flowers. I really like them. I kind of like the nude with little pops of color, like uh, white, black, and then nude creams, stuff like that. So I'm going to go in and show you guys along here. And then just down at my little fish tank. I love this. I don't know if I'll be able to zoom in on the fish. There is so many of them though. It's not even plausible, the amount of fish I have. They just keep having babies. And of course the train's passing by because of that beautiful train bridge I told you about. See, all the little babies. Yeah, like literally every day there's a brand new baby in there and I just, I'm just kind of letting them do their thing. I might take out the mail soon, but we will see. We will see, only time will tell. I don't know how much I feel like having millions of babies. And one last overview for you guys. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my tours and stuff as I add more stuff, because this isn't done. There's going to need to be more stuff. Give this a thumbs up, comment down below if there's any suggestions you guys have or just tell me what your favorite item from Ikea is. All right beauties, have a good night, bye.